How do we determine which parts of our body receive blood or not? There are three separate phenomena which determine this. One, there are neural reflexes based on uh, the reflexes involving stretch receptors or chemoreceptors. Neurons can control the contraction and relaxation of the smooth muscle around blood vessels. So neural reflexes can help determine where blood goes in the body. There are hormones which can control the contraction or relaxation of smooth muscle around blood vessels. Epinephrine may cause constriction overall, but may uh, cause more blood to flow to the muscle or skin and less to the stomach. And so the contraction of blood vessels uh, is determined by hormones. Histamine is a hormone which can cause vasodilation. ADH is a hormone uh, which can control vasoconstriction. Then finally, local events. So for example, following an injury, there may be a vascular spasm which would limit blood flow. During exercise, uh, vasodilation would bring more blood flow to a tissue which is warm or warmer or is building up carbon dioxide or acid. And so three separate phenomena, neural reflexes, hormones, and then autoregulation through local events, these three phenomena determine where blood goes in our bodies.